Hi, I'm Doug from the Sydney String Centre, and in this video I'm going to be talking through our range of cello cases. I'm a cellist myself, and I've been selling cello cases for over 15 years now. And in my experience, there are three things that my customers are always looking for. They want a case that's really strong, really light, and really affordable. Sadly, it's difficult to get all three of those things, and you'll probably have to compromise on at least one. So for example, there are cases that are light and affordable, but not that strong. Cases that are stronger, still affordable, but heavier. And cases that are light and very strong, but are more expensive. Let's start by having a look at the more affordable options. The first two cases that we're going to have a look at are the SSC foam case and the Chrysler pod. The SSC foam case is made from polystyrene foam and is 3.5 kilos and the pod case is 4.9 kilos and is made from compressed foam. The foam case is covered in a material that is screwed into place with the screws that you'll see running down the length of the zipper. It has two zippers, two carry handles which are riveted into place. Around the back of the case it has two backpack straps, a sheet music pocket, and wheels. The handle that you see at the top of the case is for wheeling the case as opposed to lifting it. So if you're going to be carrying the case, we suggest you use these as they're a lot stronger. Um, the polystyrene foam shell is quite tough and rigid, uh, and it's ideal for um, keeping the cello safe uh, on a budget. However, we found that with rigorous um, everyday use, some of the parts start to, to wear a little bit quicker by comparison to the fittings on our pod case. So the pod case is made from a compressed foam. It's also covered in material, but you'll see the key point of difference is everything is stitched very strongly into place as opposed to screwed into place. There's two carry handles on the side, which are both riveted into place and are very strong. There's a lock to attach the zippers into. It's a combination lock. On the back, uh, it's similar kind of specs to the foam case. It has backpack straps, um, slightly more substantial backpack straps than the foam case. There's a little bit more padding there and it's a little bit more comfortable. And it also has wheels, but no sheet music pocket. Now in both instances you'll need to put the case on the ground to take the cello in and out and that's because it has zippers unlike some of our other hard cases that use latches and allow you to open and close them standing up. The pod case although the shell isn't quite as strong it's still very rigid around the neck and the um, bridge area. We just find that the handles are much stronger, the backpack straps are more reliable and the wheels are um, going to last a lot longer when compared with the foam case. Next, we're going to compare the Hiscox case with the Chrysler Slim. The Chrysler Slim is 5.9 kilos and it's made from fiberglass. And one of the advantages to a fiberglass case is that it's available in a wide variety of colors, which you can see on our website. It's a slimline case and has lots of um, contours. It uses a latch system to lock the top and the back of the case together. It has two carry handles on the side and on the back it has both backpack straps and wheels. The handle at the top of the case is for wheeling and we recommend you use that for wheeling only and when you need to carry it, you can use the um, handles on the side. On the inside of the case, the cello sits on very thick padded foam, so it's completely suspended and it's kept in place using a Velcro strap. The Hiscox case is 6.4 kilos, so it's heavier, but it has quite a different design, which in my opinion gives it a lot more strength. It's made from ABS plastic. On the inside, it's also lined with polystyrene foam for insulation, so it's much better for temperature um, control. The top and the back are attached using uh, an aluminium frame, which gives it a lot more strength than the plastic frame on the Chrysler case. 
it uses a similar sort of latch system to keep everything together. And in our experience, it's been much easier to source replaceable parts for these cases as opposed to some of the Chinese made cases. It also has backpack straps. Now, in my experience, these um, backpack straps, which are anchored around the neck as opposed to the back, are not quite as comfortable as the Chrysler Slim. So when I use this case, I normally have just one uh, shoulder strap on, on my right shoulder. It has wheels and a similar system with the um, wheel handle on the back. It's spring-loaded. And in my experience, this is uh, much more appropriate for plane travel as opposed to the Chrysler case. It's just a, a, a much more strong, rigid case, um, although it's only available in black or um, an, what they call an ivory color. So it's, uh, there's not as many color options and it's a, a bigger, heavier um, case. Next, I'm gonna talk you through the Gewa Pure Cello case. And the reason why I'm doing this as a standalone and not as a comparison is because we found it to be a great compromise between strength, weight, and affordability. The Gewa Pure Cello case weighs in at 3.75 kilos. It's made from ABS carbon in Gewa's um, China facility. Uh, it has latches to um, clasp the top and the back together and has a plastic seal. On the back of the case, it has backpack straps and that's the way that you're going to mostly be carrying this case as there are no wheels, but at 3.75 kilos, you, you arguably don't need them. It's much more convenient to have it on your back or using the carry handles. It has two carry handles, one on either side. It's available in six different colors, so we're sure you'll find one to match your personality. I would recommend the Gewa Pure case to cellists that have a nicer cello that they want good stable protection for and that are traveling several times a week. So if you're on and off public transport four or five times a week and you'd prefer to have the um, agility of a light cello case that you can put on your back, then this case is ideal for you. Finally, we're going to have a look at two cases which are extremely light and very strong. The Gewa Idea um, Ultralight case and the High Tech Slim by BAM. The High Tech Slim by BAM is made in France out of a triple ply Airex ABS composite shell. It has a tongue and groove plastic lining that keeps the top and the back aligned and it is held together using a series of latches, uh, each of which can be locked using a key. In total, there are five latches. One, two, three, four, down the left side of the case, and a further one on the right. When you open the case up, you'll see that there's very little on the inside except for the padded foam on which the cello is going to sit. Uh, and the top piece of padded foam is removable with a Velcro so that you can change the location of it depending on the size of your cello. It has just one carry handle on the side and on the back it has very comfortable neoprene backpack straps but no wheels. But at 2.9 kilos, uh, again, it's arguable that you shouldn't need wheels. Most of the time you'll be carrying this case on your back. It's available in several different colors and is one of the lightest, most slim, compact cases on the market today. By comparison, the Gewa Idea Ultralight case is exactly the same weight, weighing in at 2.9 kilos, but they achieve that weight using a different system. It's made entirely out of carbon fiber they don't use a tongue and groove system, unlike um, BAM. They use this um, patented system where the top folds over the back of the case. While this is um, arguably not as attractive as the system that BAM uses, uh, it is 
a lot stronger and gives a lot more um, strength and rigidity around the edge of the case. There's four latches on the outside of the case and they're able to do away with the fifth latch on the uh, other side of the case because of the strength that this um, folded edge system gives the case. There's no locks on the latches, however on this latch there is a space for you to put your own padlock. The back has two backpack straps and um, they're also made from neoprene and also quite comfortable. There's an extra added feature that there's a, um, a safety um, buckle. So if one of the buckles happens to go, you've always got the reassurance that there's an extra one there. The inside of the case also has um, a padded foam um, suspension system. So your cello is safely sitting suspended on the inside of the case. Instead of a clip, there's a leather strap to hold it in, into place. Place for two bows, very similar in that respect to the BAM. Both these cases weigh 2.9 kilos and will offer you the strength and protection that um, is necessary for a nice, uh, better quality cello and for a player who's doing extensive traveling day to day on a variety of different transport means. Uh, which one is better depends on your personal preference and your belief in which system is the stronger system. Uh, the carbon fiber uh, case by um, Gewa is overall a bigger case and achieves the strength in the, um, the shell and also the way that the top and back of the case are um, molded together. The BAM case is a slimmer case and uh, achieves the strength by using a triple ply Airx construction shell. Thanks for watching this video on our different range of cello cases. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please feel free to get in touch with us via our website. And if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.